A new generation of transformer language models are unlocking new NLP use cases. Huge models and massive training costs dominate the hottest area of AI today, natural language processing. The transformer is a novel architecture that aims to solve sequence-to-sequence -sequence tasks while taking care of long-range dependencies with ease. In addition, transformer models allow for parallelization, making training faster. The concept was proposed in the paper, Attention is all you need. The transformer architecture is able to benefit from parallel processing and completely gets rid of recurrence. As a result, transformers replace RNNs and LSTMs. One of the main features of transformers is self-attention. Self-attention is defined as the attention of words in the same sentence. Let us take a look at following example. The animal did not cross the street because it was too wide. The attention mechanism helps us to find out if the word it refers to the word animal or to the word street. The self-attention mechanism shows a stronger match between the word it and the word street as compared to the same word and the word animal. Capturing such relationships is vital for a machine to understand a language. Words that are not close in proximity can still be related in an important way. Now we will discuss how we can mathematically represent self-attention. We rely on the concept used to find values in a database. We want to retrieve a value VI for a query Q based on a key KI. In a database search you compare your query with all the keys in the database and when your key matches the query you will return the value associated with that key. Matching in this case points to a degree of similarity between the query and the key. In this course we have represented the degree of similarity between two blocks of numbers by the dot product between these blocks. The similarity between query and key is high when the dot product between query Q and key KI is high. Let us take another look at our sentence. The animal did not cross the street because it was too wide. Assume that we want to query the word it and want to calculate the self-attention values between it and all the words of the sentence. Our keys key 1 through key 12. We now calculate the dot product between it and all the other words. Subsequently, the values of the dot product are converted to a probability distribution via a softmax operation. The value that will be returned by the dot product is called VIT, our context vector for the word IT. The dot product reveals that the word IT is likely, with a probability of 60%, linked to the word STREET. We make following observations. We did not train any weights. The order of the words has no influence. Proximity of words has no influence. In a similar way, we can calculate the value V word of every word in the sentence. The end result is what we call a self-attention block. As we always do in machine learning, we introduce weights. Three matrices, MV, MQ, and MK, in our case related to query, key, and value. We now have a self-attention block that we can train for. In essence, we train the element of the matrices. The self-attention block takes as input a word of a sentence and outputs a contextualized embedding of that word. We can train this block using gradient descent and backpropagation as usual. Another way of presenting this is as follows. 
we start with the word vector x and apply our linear transformation to the word using the matrices MV, MQ and MK that we just defined. We execute a matrix multiplication between MQ and MK and softmax the result. The result of step 2 is multiplied with the matrix MV and outputs the contextualized embedding Y for the word X. Subsequently, we use gradient descent and backpropagation to find the optimal matrix elements. Rather than only computing the attention once, the multi-head self-attention mechanism spreads the cognitive load over H parallel and independent self-attention schemes. The H independent self-attention scheme outputs are concatenated and transformed into the expected dimensions via a dense layer. Multi-head self-attention allows the model to jointly attend to information from different representation subspaces at different positions. More parameters give the model more flexibility to learn the transformation. The transformer is the building block for BERT, GTP1, 2 and 3. Similar to sequence-to-sequence -sequence models, a transformer has an encoder and a decoder. The paper, Attention is all you need, shows following model architecture of the transformer. We will explain the components of this architecture starting with the encoder. On the encoder side we have n multi-head self-attention blocks followed by a feed-forward neural network for each word of the input sentence. The number of blocks is a hyperparameter and will need to be set by you. In the original paper, attention is all you need, the number of encoding blocks is 6. The size of this hyperparameter would typically be the length of the longest sentence in our training dataset. The encoder takes in the sentence, the animal did not cross the street because it was too wide, and converts the words of the sentence to 12 vectors. These are the input embeddings. Subsequently, we add a positional encoding step because the network has no recurrence and doesn't care about order. Each of the 12 words is fed into a multi-head attention layer followed by a simple neural network to make sure that the contextual representation of the input has the correct dimensions. It is good practice to apply layer normalization so no real surprises here. The residual connections are used to prevent the gradient from vanishing. On the decoder side we recognize the output embedding of the translated words and positional encoding. We assume that we have translated the animal did to l'animal a and that we want to translate the next word not. The translated part of the sentence is fed into a masked multi-head attention layer followed by normalization. The term masked refers to the fact that we can only attend to words that have been translated already. The next attention block is what we call encoder-decoder attention. It is the type of attention that we looked at when we introduced sequence-to-sequence -sequence models. The keys K and the values V come from the encoder. The query Q comes from the decoder. This allows every position in the decoder to attend over all positions in the input sequence. Just as in the encoder, we have the residual connections and normalization operations. Subsequently, we have a simple neural network and finally a softmax layer providing us probabilities for the next word. In this case, the highest probability was assigned to the French word PA. In language modeling, the ultimate goal is to build a general pre-trained language representation model that can be used for various NLP tasks. We have seen that RNNs are difficult to train 
mainly because of long-term dependencies. The solution for this problem is a new neural architecture called the transformer. Transformers completely replace RNNs. We know how significant transfer learning has been in the field of computer vision. For instance, a pre-trained deep learning model could be fine-tuned for a new task and still give decent results on a relatively small dataset. Language model pre-training has been quite effective for improving many natural language processing tasks. The bidirectional encoder representation of transformer framework, or BERT, is a new language representation model from Google. BERT is a pre-trained language model and is relied upon for a variety of NLP tasks. For example, we can use BERT plus a simple classifier to develop a state-of-the-art sentiment analyzer. BERT only uses transformer encoder blocks and is still able to build a language model. Basically, we will mask 15% of the words in the input and ask the model to predict the masked words. The training can be completely unsupervised and you don't need to label data. BERT outputs a contextual representation of a word that is conditioned on the context to the left and to the right of that word. Hence, it is bidirectional. Word2Vec and GLOVE have one fixed and single vector representation for the word bank. Bank, however, can have two meanings. Bank of a river versus a bank giving a loan. Using BERT, bank will have two different context vectors depending on the context. There are two BERT models. We have the basic model, which has 12 encoder blocks, and we have the large model, with 24 encoder blocks. BERT learns language via two unsupervised tasks simultaneously. Task number one, BERT takes in a sentence in which certain words are masked and outputs the masked tokens. Task 2. BERT takes in two sentences 1 and 2 and outputs true if sentence 2 follows sentence 1. We have explained what fine-tuning is in the lectures on Covnets. Basically, we use BERT as a pre-trained model and replace the fully connected output layer by a set of new layers. In addition, we allow a small amount of BERT weights to be retrained. We have two sentences on the input side and introduce two tokens, CLS and SEP. Think of CLS as the token to signal the start of sequence 1 and SEP as a token that separates the two sentences. On the top left corner, we have our prediction for the next sentence, NSP, and our prediction for the masked words. Let us take a closer look on how we generate the embeddings for the input sentences. Basically, the input vectors E are the aggregate of three vectors. Token embeddings factor or pre-trained embeddings. Segment embeddings factor indicating if a word belongs to sentence 1 or sentence 2. And positional embeddings factor reference to the position of the word in the sentence as the order of words is important in NLP. On the output side the word vectors T have the same size and are generated simultaneously. Assume that our vocabulary contains 30,000 words. The predicted mask words are compared with the actual words. The difference is reflected by our loss. The loss is only calculated for the masked words in order to focus on these words. GPT aims to improve language understanding by generative pre-training. GPT only uses transformer decoder blocks and is one-directional. 
Basically, we predict the next word given all previous words. Training can happen unsupervised just like BERT. In the meanwhile, OpenAI released GPT-2 and GTP-3. GTP-2 has 1.5 billion parameters, but GTP-3 has 175 billion parameters. GTP-3 is able to write computer code, write poems, and summarize text. GPT-3 is currently the largest deep neural network. 